Welcome to Ark Survival Ascended Boot Camp. The how to's, where to's, and what you will need to do's. In today's video, we're going to be going over two things the black pearl farming and the taming of a two so toothis. They kind of go hand in hand because, in order to tame a two so toothis, you're going to need a decent amount of black pearls. And then, how do you start the farming of the black pearls? Well, you start it with a decent itchy. So. Uh, black pearls on the island. You can get them from trilobites. Trilobites can be found anywhere on the shoreline or deep in the ocean. So what we're going to do is we're going to go deep into the ocean, you know, making sure we don't use all of our stamp by accident. Oh, actually, let me leave uh, GCM mode so I can make this a little bit more realistic. Alright, my kit is... Less than half of that. Don't worry about the cryos. I'm gonna use those. My kid is less than half that of the itchy. I'm gonna want to give my itchy plenty of stam. Wow, that's a lot of stam bonus. Jeez. Uh, some health will help a lot. There we go. Because we're gonna be using it to fight, and we're gonna need it to stay alive. Now I'm gonna want to put on my scuba flippers at least, and putting on a scuba chest. So we're looking for Ureptrids, and we're looking for Trilobites. It's going to be our best. And the cool thing about Itchies against Ureptrids is they actually don't take any Torpor damage whatsoever, and they take very reduced damage as well. So I think I'm not doing that great. I'm trying to hit them in a place where they can't hit me. There we go. Got one killed. Look at that. 12 black pearls. There we go. There is a way to hit them to where they can't hit you. So we're going to be using that method. And I hope it's different in Asa. But in Ace, if you spam attack, it actually doesn't hit them every time. So you kind of got to take it a little bit slow. There we go. Now it's a 1v1. We get all the black pearls. If you spam the attack too fast, it actually doesn't hit. Alright, our weight is way over. That is something we have to be careful of because the... Uh, the black pearls weigh a lot. So we're actually going to drop all of this. And we've got over 50 black pearls. So depending on the taming rates of your... Uh, what have you. Uh, your server. You can tame a Tuso with 50 black pearls in your last slot. Now you can only feed up to 50 at a time. Can feed anywhere between 1 and 50. Since black pearls are kind of a hot commodity and they're very heavy, uh, I would advise bringing just 50 at a time to try to tame the two so because it's not going to lose taming effectiveness if you uh, have to go farm 50 more. But you're going to lose your itchy. So you're going to want to find your two so tame something terrible you know, like tame any itchy nearby oh, I should probably grab more meat and then use that itchy to uh, to get that too so of feeding you really want to be careful of eels uh, and jellyfish jellyfish are really slow eels aren't that slow and eels are so annoying So I'm going to cut to where I have found a Tuso, now that I've got 50 Black Pearls. Alright, I have found my Tuso. And because they are incredibly difficult to find, very rare, takes forever to do so, I'm going to tame the first one I find. It's a level 15, which is a <laughs> probably <laughs> the worst level I could find besides a level 5. Uh, but that doesn't matter because I'm going to tame the first one I find. So I'm going to go on Google. I'm going to look up how many pearls I need to tame this level 15. 
And then I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to split that with, uh, with the itchy that I'm in. So that way I'm only feeding it the minimum amount of pearls and to get it tamed up in one shot. So since I am going to get it tamed up in one shot, and I'm not, you know, it's single player. Uh, so I told you what I would do, but what I'm going to be doing right now is just getting it tamed. Because it is going to be a one shot tame, I don't have to worry about taming another itchy because this guy is not going to die. As soon as you get it tamed, it's going to stop trying to kill your itchy. There's a lot of other dangerous stuff around, which is a little concerning. And another thing I forgot to mention is uh, you definitely want to be looking for your Tuso in the bottom and left and right. Because if you go to the ice biome, the water is actually so cold that uh, you'll freeze to death. Alright, as soon as it picks me, I'm going to hop off and feed. And it's tamed. It's literally that simple. So now I should have both of my tames. I don't see the Ichthy, but I don't think it died either. There it is. Alright. So I'm going to whistle neutral. Da -da -da -da. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, whistle passive. The two so is faster than the Ichthy, so it should be able to follow no problem. <laughs> So you can't shoot underwater, but what you can do is use items on the Ichthy. So if I wanted, and I had a really good crossbow, I could use a crossbow with stone arrows to kill that Megalodon. But what you can also do is, uh, at the top, you can actually use the shotgun into the water. So, where's that shark? A little bit behind me. Pretty neat trick. I don't see it. There it is. Especially if you have a cap shotgun, like you just make quick work of megalodons like that. Don't forget to not attack too fast. It can actually attack faster than it can actually hit. Which I, I imagine will be changed in Asa, but you never know. Alright, uh, I can go to base and grab a saddle, or, you know, perhaps I should have <laughs> had a saddle with me while I came out here to tame a Tuso. Never forget to bring yourself a saddle. Alright, now I got the bad boy saddled. Now, the Ichthy is faster than the Tuso, so I would have the Tuso follow the Ichthy. You always want to have the faster dino following the slower dino, so that way you don't lose one. Because if I did this, I might, I might lose that Ichthy eventually, you know. It would uh, leave render. Actually, maybe it's uh, pretty much the same speed. Yeah, it looks to be pretty much the same speed. Obviously, the speed boost uh, gives the Tuso a little bit better. But yeah, I guess you can ride the Tuso and the Ichthy should follow just fine. Just uh, don't lose your little buddy. If you use your speed boost too much, he might get lost. He, she, it. Your dolphin boy. But from here... Yeah, we're kind of losing it. Go get him. Alright. Now we'll have the two so follow the Ichthy. And we'll be on our way. That way we just don't have to worry about it, you know. I don't have to look behind me. I know the Tuso is right there. It's not getting lost. Alright, we tamed our first Tuso. And you kind of saw how we farm Black Pearls. Killing the Eureptrids. Another way to farm Black Pearls is to kill other Tusos. So let's say you do have like a good Tuso line. Uh, while you're swimming around doing your Black Pearl farming run. Killing Trilobites and Eureptrids on the bottom of the floor. If you see an Alpha Mosa, you can kill that for 100 pearls. Uh, Alpha Tuso, 75 black pearls. Or just any Tuso in general. 
uh, we'll give you some black pearls. But yeah, pretty short, sweet video. This is how you start dominating the waters. Uh, over on the island, you got your black pearl farm and your two so taming. That's it. Peace.